Hello, this is Ken Gaddy of YouTube channel GameBits here to finish my Let's Play of Shovel Knife, the Nintendo Wii U. I have done the Tower of Fate entrance, the Tower of Fate Ascent, which did in fact involve a little bit of verticality. And now I'm off to face... Hmm? Question mark? This could be the Enchantress. This could be Shield Knight, consumed by evil energy. Either way, I'm going to sharpen thy shovel and attack these stained glass windows? Hmm. You know what they say. Let's get digging. Whoa, wait, what did I do to the floor to deserve this? Why is it attacking me? I'm just a humble shoveler. Huh. Okay, entrance opens up. Didn't have to use any magic, but I did have my phase locket cons uh, activated. Or available, rather, just in case. Whoa. Hello? Neat. No Mega Man dragons to face here. Hmm. Hello? Oh, you're over there. Interesting. Wait, where's the, where's the next one? Ah! Okay. Man, this is hard. Why would they do this to me? Leap of Faith, indeed. Kind of like the end of the third Indiana Jones movie. Too bad there was never a fourth one. I'm not really comfortable going faster than this, given how many opportunities there have been to fall, because there wasn't a brick where I needed one. Or expected one, rather. There have always been bricks where I needed them. This would be much more dramatic if I knew I could just run. And it turns out I could have. Those three candles were all safe zones. Whoa, hello. Now you can destroy these if you want, but I will not. Actually, I don't know if I can destroy that one, but I'm not going to take a chance at finding out. I'm just glad to know I don't need to do this disappearing brick trick anymore. Oh, there she is. It's a beautiful night, isn't it? Shield night! Come with... Wow, so it is Shield Knight. They're not really uh, playing that for secrets anymore. Come with me, let us leave this place. How pitiful, clinging to false hope, chasing ghosts. Mm. So, have you come to slay me, Knight? To avenge your beloved? Gaze into my eyes, see how fearful I am. Watch me cower as you draw your blade. Sarcasm. How original. I don't need a blade to fight evil. Shield Knight, I know you aren't lost forever. You haven't the slightest hope of defeating me, but I won't stop you from trying, so please, let us dance together in the abyss. Alright, well, somebody's going down. I don't think it's me. Oh. Maybe it is me. Wow. Oh. Okay. Sorry. Oh, no! So old school, I can reflect your shots back at you. Oh my. Ah. Uh oh. Uh oh. Whoa. You're like a bird. Gotta remember not to do that. No downward shoveling. Well, look at look at this. She's more than half dead. Whoa! No! No, 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 no. I was trying to... If I had jumped first, I could have used my propeller dagger to get farther to the left. But that didn't work out for me. Oh, I had full health. I was be being able to... Strike her from afar. So now she's already down to that. I've already destroyed six of her ten health. Which means she's 60% dead. And 40% alive. This will surely not be her only form. Oh, I'm glad those flames didn't destroy anything. Whoa. Again. Is she gonna come up here and fight me? Yep. Whoa. 
Uh-oh. Nowhere to go. Did some bricks just get restored when those flames came up? I thought I had fewer places to stand than that. Whoa! There's more to her than that. The windows are cracking. Uh-oh. Now we're playing Limbo. Wait, that looks like Shield Knight. Catch her? I've had some practice at this. Oof. I'll just let these lines speak for themselves. Good. A real fight, but not against an old friend. Whoa. Why is there money down there? Oh, that's from a previous attempt at fighting this with the boss. Or something. Huh. That didn't work. Oh, I need to jump up on Shield Knight? Is that what is that what she's doing? She's giving me a platform to jump on? Man, I'm getting my butt handed to me. Don't just Ah! Oh jeez. Help me, Shield Knight. Thank you. Am I supposed to jump up on that? What are you doing for me? Ah! Shield Knight, I don't know what's going on. There we go. Can you do that again, except more consistently? Please? Shield Knight, help me. Ah, uh, that was my bad. One more hit and I'm gone. So, uh, I don't know that I want to use my I-Core, because I think I would rather just start from scratch this battle. I hope I don't have to fight the Sorceress's first appearance again, where she actually is Shield Knight. Good. Right back here. I'm just going to get these just to get them out of the way, so that they're not distracting me with their floating. Jump! How can I tell when Shield Knight is going to give me something to stand on? So I can get three hits in. And I have to get 20. Does that mean she is 50% dead right now? Shield Knight! Thank you. Good team as always. Couldn't do it without you. Two, three. Nope, that definitely isn't gonna work. It is with my shovel and nothing else that she must be defeated. Although, isn't this a manifestation of an amulet? Whoa! Destroying my places to stand. That's not cool. It's hard to see where I'm gonna land if I'm gonna, if I'm gonna hit her, because. Shots are putting me off the screen. Four more hits. Uh oh. Buzz balls. One, two. One more. That's the one that I missed earlier. I only hit her twice when I should have hit her three times. Oops. That was scary. Ah, oh, almost had her. Oh, stay. Gotta. I gotcha. Whatever. The amulet has been destroyed. Oh! Huh.
<laughs> what is their history? I need a prequel to figure this out. Hmm. Nobody's thinking about the huge mess that's gonna leave. All the forest animals it landed on. So, let's review where we've been, what we've done. Rightful King returns. Oh, good. He was in. Oh, and there's King Knight scrubbing the floors. Love it. So, I read somebody else's review of this game where they finished with a 70% completion rate, so I guess we're gonna get rated here. Let the celebrations begin. I wonder how I did. Probably not as well as I thought. life of the party? Oh, that's Mona. I just barely found her. I'm glad I did, because otherwise this end sequence wouldn't make any sense. This is kind of like Zelda 3. At the end, of, during the credits, it shows you what happened to everybody. Ill-gotten gains reclaimed. Aw, his whale's been drained. Explodatorium. What good could come of this? And what if I hadn't saved all the knights at the end? Would this ending be different? Advanced potion class. Mr. Potter. Oh, interesting. He turned younger instead of into a monster. Mole knight. Excavations and expeditions. Hey, he's helping out. Just like Gutsman was built to do. Wandering Travelers. A Rees, Baz, and... Spectre, or Phantom, or something. Always ready for battle. Mr. Hat. Good job, Kickstarter backers. Flying Machine, Propeller Knight. Off into the sunset. Living the life carefree. Ha! Okay. You and your airship, Red Falcon, Enterprise, Big Whale, whatever you want to call it. What are you tinkering for me? Toys for the children? Aww. Aww, it's a little version of the monster I defeated. A giant mech. Stranded ship, Polar Knight. Aww, the wolf is waiting for the fish. This guy was weird to begin with. I don't know whose side he was on. The Northern Lights? Is he going to say anything about him? Nothing. Epilogue. He's going to leave me here? Now I get to see the actual credits for who made this game. Matt Hull, isn't he from Red vs. Blue? Jake Kaufman did most of the soundtrack. Nick Wozniak, no relation to Steve Wozniak, the Woz. Took just for a day. Oh, there are the Wandering Travelers. Or two of them, anyway. Aw. Congratulations, Nick. Yeah, Nintendo's a big supporter of this game. I don't know why they chose to get behind this indie game, but they included it in a lot of their E3 promos and the like. That was pretty awesome. 
Wow, it looks like these guys had a lot of professional support. A lot of people rooting for them. That's cool. Nintendo Force. That's right, they were on the cover. Alexander Slowinski. He's with Joystick.com. I think he's right here in Boston, actually. Pablo Burt. Was he on Sesame Street? Chris Kaufman, in relation to Jake, I presume. Ellen Wozniak. Probably had something to do with Naomi Wozniak. Nugget Kaufman? Hey, that's me! I'm a Kickstarter backer! Yay! Should upload a separate video that just has the end credits without my commentary. If people would be doing a YouTube search for end credits shovel knight. Wow. So Pride Mark keeps it me 23 minutes. Clockwork Tower keeps me 28. Flying Machine 31. Some tough levels. Wow. So no hall in the Tower of Fate, only two deaths, not bad. Nine minutes. 102 lives. Gah. Couldn't have kept it to the double digits. Wow. I lost like a third of my gold. It took me six and a half hours to play this game. That's pretty good. 86%. That is actually really good. So I missed some things. There's a lot of mu magic, not magic, music sheets that I overlooked. I know that for sure. Is it possible to get 100% or do you have to finish the game and then go back? Like, is there stuff you can only find on the second playthrough? But wait, there's more! I hope she lived through the night. Wow. That's a really good game. I kind of wish I'd had it run through it in just three s sessions. I thought there was a new game plus. Let's, let's copy this into a new slot. Let's see what happens. No. There we go. A more challenging quest, but with my collected equipment. And there it is, back to the beginning. But we're going to end here, so thank you so much for watching this Let's Play of Shovel Knight and Shield Knight. Please subscribe to the YouTube channel and game it's for more awesome Wii U games and indie games and the like.